Hello everybody and welcome back to another Innistrad Midnight Hunt Modern Brew gameplay video. Uh, we're picking up from where we left off last week. We did Vampires on Friday. If you want to go and check that out on the channel, it's there. But today we are continuing Innistrad with some elves. I know elves isn't really new, but we got a new card called Rite of Harmony, which is very, very similar to the banned modern card called Glimpse of Nature. It's the same thing as Glimpse of Nature, just one more mana. So is this also going to be good enough to be ban worthy? Let's find out. All right, welcome to the Rite of Harmony Elves deck tech. As usual, the deck list link is down below in the description if you'd like to follow along with it as we go through the list. So Rite of Harmony is pretty much the reincarnation of Glimpse of Nature, which is a card that's banned in modern. And that is what legacy elves evolves around. So this might be broken. We won't know until we give it a try. So it's meant to be paired with Heritage Druid and Nettle Sentinel because, you know, you can tap a bunch of elves for mana, play another elf on top of the Nettle Sentinel, use Heritage Druid's ability over again, and then with the Rite of Harmony drawing us a card every time we play an elf, we're basically just going to chain off and snowball and storm out our entire library, eventually getting out of Zuri. Um, once we start stacking these Nettle Sentinels, we're going to net a lot of positive mana, and we're going to be able to activate a Zuri a million times. And then we also have a playset of Quarian Rangers, so once we storm off our entire deck and get the Quarian Rangers down, we use them to pretty much just untap whatever isn't summoning sick and use Azuri's buff to just go attacking for like 9,000 damage. And now we do have a little bit of help for backup win conditions if we happen to not find the Rite of Harmony. So Realm Walker is another additional way to storm off the top of the deck and get a lot of advantage and just win the natural board state way. And Winding Way is just another big card advantage piece so we can also help flood out, maybe find a Realm Walker to go off that way. But Winding Way also has some really cool synergy with the Rite of Harmony because Rite of Harmony does have flashback and Winding Way does dump the remaining cards into the graveyard. So if you happen to accidentally mill of a Red Harmony, you can flash it back and try to go off if you manage to find a Nettle Sentinel and a Heritage Druid. So that is the main idea of the deck. The rest of it's self-explanatory, but like I said, deckless link down below if you want to see the rest of it. And with that, we're going to get onto the gameplay. But first, a quick word for our supporters. And before we get into it, just a few quick plugs. Thank you so much to our patrons for making this channel possible. Their names have been scrolling on screen. And if you would like to help monetize this channel as well, you can find the Patreon link down below. And we now do Commander streams with our patrons every Tuesday. And if you need to pick up some magic cards, TCGplayer.com's got you covered. You can find them through our deck list link down below, and anything you purchase through that link really helps out the channel. And if you want to play some magic online, you should sign up with Mana Traders using the code that's listed in the description to save 15% and you can rent and play all the magic decks you want. It is what I personally use to make my videos. And with that, let's get on to the video. Hope you enjoy. Got a game here against Failed Loser, and we're going to be on the draw here with some Elves, some Rite of Harmony Elves. This is going to be a keep, I think. Although if our Elvish Mystic gets killed or Thoughtseized, we are instantly dead. Highland Force. We're going to mince like Affinity of Sorts. Let's start on Elvish Mystic. Go. Oh, it's a snow land, so we're going to be in something snow. Teamer snow, perhaps? My guess is teamer. It's like some kind of Yorn combo. Perforos is intervention. All right. What are we doing here? Are we just winding, winding, weighing? But I don't want to go to discard. So we'll just go Heritage Druid into Nettle Sentinel. Risking our Heritage Druid's life, but it is what it is. We're very close to storming off. We're two turns away from storming off here. Utopia Sprawl on red Blood Moon. Oh, that stops a Rite of Harmony. No. All right. Well, let's go to um. All right. Let me see. Let me think. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So go to Combat Swing with Nettle Sentinel.
That's sad. I was about to storm off next turn. Next turn was the turn. This is the setup turn. Like I'm getting a bunch of card advantage here with winding away and stuff. Now I can go Dwinin's Elite, untap my... Let's see, always yes, always yield. Untap my Nettle Sentinel, get a thing. Tap here, here, and here to play Azuri, untap, and then tap here, here, and here, play Winding Way, name creature. All right, we get Heritage Druid and Quirion Ranger. And next turn, I think we might have lethal with the Zuri. Maybe. I think we do. As long as we don't get swept here. If they cast a sweeper, I'm like scooping. Turn of audio's no 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 wait, wait. Oh, we're going to regenerate some things. Let's regenerate... Heritage Druid? What are we regenerating? Dwyden's Elite. And, um... Nettle Sentinel and Heritage Druid. That does suck, though. Realm Walker. All right. That's a good draw. Elf. That is a bad top deck right there. Go to combat. Get in there for five. Only got 17 lands in this deck, so the odds of Realm Walker having a land on top should be not that big oh man lightning bolt and we know we're drawing a dud so that's that's sucky if they sweep again i'm scooping man we could have stormed off a few turns ago that would have been so cool have it on the very first game All right, Nettle Sentinel, untap Nettle Sentinel. Always yes, always yield. Go to combat, get in there for five. Blood Moon is so fun. No, it's not, Shroom. You're evil. You're evil if you think Blood Moon's fun. Blood Moon is literally anti-fun. It makes people not play the game. And not playing the game is not fun. <laughs> Blood Moon's your favorite card. I can see why. If you like to deny fun like that. Alright, the opponent scoops it up. Even if Glorybringer could swing, I mean, they could have waited because maybe we didn't have any spell to cast to untap or other Nettle Sentinel. But yeah, see, we were going to whiff. We were going to draw Temple Garden. So, yeah. We're definitely going to bring in Mark of Asylum. That's for sure. Um, do I even bring in Shaper Sanctuary? Do I bring in Shapers? What would I bring it in over? I don't know. Could a Arbor Elf, could a Winding Way. I like Winding Way. No, probably not. Let's just let's just go Mark of Asylum. Do it like that. 
I want to keep my Dwinin's Elite. I'll take it a, a query on, but it's too late. All right, this looks good. Let's keep it. Let's fetch our basic forests while we can. Elvish Mystic, go. I think I'd rather slam Realm Walker over going Elvish War Master and Corian Ranger get a guy. Because I want to get that card advantage going right away. Oh, never mind. I guess that solves our question. We're going to start on Elvish War Master. It's a police thing. What Blood Moon? You like uh you like the the whole prison lock strategy? Orb of Dragonkind. What is this? Oh, it's dragons. It, it makes mana for dragons. Sack it. Look at the top seven cards. Put a dragon in your hand. That's pretty good. It's a ramper and can be three mana to dig seven deep for a dragon. Seems pretty good, especially with Blood Moon. Gloria Bringer, they can exert and kill my guy. Yep. It's gonna be tough to beat through this Glory Bringer. We're gonna kill a, kill a thing every other turn. All right, well, I'm going to get out my um, Realm Walker here and hope that I can get some massive storm potential on the top. If I can get, like, a Heritage Druid, that'd be great. Let's go Elf. Got a Nettle Sentinel on top, but I cannot cast it yet. Nettle Sentinel's a good start. That's one of the pieces I need to start storming off. I just need a Winding Away and, and hit a Heritage Druid, and I'm good. Just don't kill my Realm Walker. All right. Orb of Dragon Kind again. Oh, they can ram for four mana. Wait. Oh, no, it's only for... They can't dump that mana into another orb. So they make four mana. Thunderbreak Regent. Leyline Tyrant. You don't lose red mana. All right, do I want that Quarian Ranger? Probably not. I'm looking for a Heritage Druid. So let's, let's fetch it away. Get a Forest. Oh, right. Of, I want that. I need that. I need that, but like, this hurts. This hurts, because the glory bringer's gonna exert and kill my thing. Mm, this is so bad. Um, they're gonna kill me with these dragons. Like, I need to start something. Oh, this is so bad. All right, winding away. I need to hit this heritage druid creature. I did hit the Heritage Druid, and there's another Heritage Druid on top. So right, we'll play that. Play Nettle Sentinel. Tap three. Play Dwinin's Elite. Untap Nettle Sentinel. Uh, tap these three. Play the Azuri. Play that free land of War Elves. Tap three. Play Quarion Ranger. Play Heritage Druid. Tap three. Play Realm Walker. On Elf. Play Elvish Mystic. See, imagine I've had a Rite of Harmony go and every time I play a creature, I draw a card. I just play my entire deck. All right, now the question is, do, do 
does the opponent have a sweltering suns? Are they going to sweep our board? If they don't, then we probably win. They have plenty of mana to play a dragon. Like if they got like a dragon lord Kolagon or whatever, they can kill us. Oh, they can exert and kill my Azuri and they can live if I don't find another way to buff my board. But I do, I don't even have an Elvish War Master. So yeah, they are still very much alive. They got to kill my Azuri here. And I can't do anything to stop that. This is tough. I can flash back this Rite of Harmony though. So it's a good thing that Winding Way can mill, mill over the Harmony and it could still be flashed back. So I can, if I can get a creature on top here for my Realm Walkers, I can start storming, maybe find my second Azuri, maybe generate enough mana to be able to activate. I need to get another Netto Sentinel though. I do need another Netto Sentinel because I need a net positive mana. Storm off, draw my deck, Get the Azuri, play it and activate it. That's what I need to do. It's possible. I need to just get another Nettle. They have one card left in hand. What it be? Is it the Thunderbreak? It's another Leyline Tyrant. Okay, this, this is fine. They're empty-handed. It is time, boys. It is time. Flashback Rite of Harmony. Oh, I should have oh I should have tapped that for mana first. Alright, here we go. Tap and tap and tap. Play the realm walker. Oh, all these Corian Rangers are gonna help so much for attacking. Elf, Quarian Ranger on top. Draw a card. All right. Tap, tap, and tap. Go Quarian Ranger. Draw a card. And this one. And we'll play the Quarian Ranger off the top, untap. Yeah, I think I think we got it here. We're generating a ton of mana. I could fetch here too. So let's fetch. Get a Temple Garden. Shocked. Play this Quarion Ranger. Draw a card. There's a Realm Walker. Um, I'm actually... I think I'm going to Winding Way because I really need another Nettle Sentinel. I'm starting to tap too much guys. All right. Cast Land War Elves. And tap here. We'll go for Heritage Druid. All right, I'm done tapping, guys. I'm done tapping, guys. There we go. There it is. So let's play that Nettle Sentinel. There's Mark of Asylum. Make another thing with the Elvish War Master. And now I can start tapping double Nettle Sentinels. Nettle, Nettle, and Summoning Sick Guy. Play another Nettle. And now the triple Nettles means I just net positive mana every single time. Always yes. I'll find that Azuri eventually. I can Rite of Harmony again. I don't think I need to. Always yes, dude. Always yes. 
Winding Way. All right, so play Realm Walker. We get to draw that Winding Way and dig for this Azuri. All right, I got more stuff to storm off here. We'll find it eventually. This last Azuri is in here somewhere, dude. Dude, where is this Azuri? Oh my goodness, man, where is it? Please, show me the Azuri. Now I have to click always yes again. Always yes. I could keep tapping things for more mana, but I got absolutely overkill here, so it doesn't matter. Just gotta find this Azuri. Please. Is it the, literally a, is it the bottom card? There it is, finally, about time. There it is. All right, let's tap some more mana just because, why not? Play the Azuri. Now we can activate Azuri, pump the team. And that is game. Don't even have to use Quarion Ranger to untap stuff. Like it's, that's it. Every single creature is lethal. There we go. Took until the last card. I have one card in deck. And this is why Red Harmony will probably get banned. It's literally Glimpse of Nature. 2.0. And they explode. Nice. Got there. GG. And now that we're partway through the video, if you felt it deserve a like, a comment, or a share, I'd really appreciate it. It helps grow the channel. All right, thank you. Got a game here against Systematic Slug. We're going to be on the play here with some... Right of Harmony Elves, and that's going to be a keep. It's a little bit land heavy, but at least we got some fetches to manipulate the top of the deck with Realm Walker. So long as Realm Walker doesn't get sniped right away, we should be in a good spot. Get a forest, play Elvis Mickey. Yes, Antonidius, but there wasn't any Heritage Druid, so it wouldn't have worked. Serum Visions. All right, so we're going to begin some kind of Breach. But they had Bloodstained Mire, so maybe it's not Breach. Ooh, the Red Harmony. All right, so we can find a Heritage Druid. We're ready to go off. Realm Walker and Elf got a Dwinan's Elite on top. And they shock with the steam vents there. All right. Um, well, that's a dud on top, so let's fetch it away. Get a forest. There's a nettle sentinel. I can write of harmony here and draw one card. Is that worth? Probably not. All right, let's let's go Elvish Warmaster first, so we can benefit off of this, off of this here Nettle Sentinel. There's a Realm Walker on top. Good combat getting there for three. The lightning striking the realm walker. 
Electro Dominance for zero, get Restore Balance. Oh, Crashing Footfall is gonna eat our guys. Sucks to lose the Realm Walker, but we have another one on top, so I guess it's not the worst thing in the world. But I am gonna be forced to chump block here in a moment. I'm gonna get dangerously low. More Serum Visions, all the same arts. It's pretty cool. Get some with the Rhinos, we'll take it. All right, come on, Heritage Druid equals the win. So play Realm Walker and please give me a Heritage Druid on top. Oh, I should have went attacking first. I missed out on two free damage there. All right, fetch, come on, Heritage Druid. Another Nether Sentinel. All right, well, I can go to combat and swing here. All right, they're down nine, play Nettle Sentinel, untap the other Nettle Sentinel. Always yes, always yield. That's one of my pet peeves of Magic Online is having to press always yes, always yield to things that are May abilities that are always gonna be an obvious yes. The only time that that matters is on Aether Vial. That's the only May ability that you might want to say no on. You know what would be a really cool May card though? Is that they made a commander card that says you may lose the game if you do target player loses the game. That would be pretty cool. It would probably get banned, but that would be funny. Just like I'm I'm going to I'm going to sack myself off, but I'm taking you down with me so that these two players over here can have a fair fight. But then people are going to be like using it with like hive mind and everybody's going to have a lose the game on the stack. But like some if they made some kind of like creature with like some kind of tedious like level up system to get to that. That would be cool. All right, let's uh, chump one of these rhinos and go to one. Like, I'm, I'm accepting him dead to a bolt or a fire and ice or whatever. I am accepting defeat from that, but I will block one of these and go to one. All right, they do have the bolt or the fire. Electro dominance for, is it restore balance? It is. All right, so I have to choose the ones I want to keep and sack the rest. I want to keep the one that's blocking. I want to keep my realm walker. That's huge though. So now I only have one Nettle Sentinel. <sighs> All right, so do I go for Ride of Harmony first? I don't think I can. Elvish Warmaster, Dwinan's Elites. 
Do I have enough to block and trade with these rhinos? I don't think I do. Do I? Yeah, I do. I do have enough to trade with these rhinos. So let's just stay back and trade off our board. One with death is a real card. Is that commander legal? I should have went to two so I could fetch. I've doomed myself. All right, so either my Elvish Warmaster or Realm Walker gets to live, which is good. If the opponent has nothing, that is. And I have a Winding Way on top, which is sweet because that can get me a bunch of card advantage. The opponent's probably holding a Force of Negation this whole time, though. Because this deck does play a bunch of Force of Negations. It's just not working against us because we haven't cast anything that wasn't a creature, but they'll be able to use it here. They're killing my Elvish War Master. Let me keep Realm Walker. I'm surprised. Cracking their Fiery Islet. Greater Gargadon suspended. Another Winding Way on top. I probably want to draw that Winding Way, right? So I read a Harmony here and then play Dwinin's Elite and draw that. And eh, probably not. Let's just Winding Way now. Go for creatures. I whiffed completely. Okay, let's play Dwinin's Elite rather than that hit free Heritage Druid because I'm actually trying to end the game now. I need the attacker. I am one short of lethal though, which really sucks. I'm one short. I have five damage on board there at six. So they got two turns to find another Rhino and kill us. How much to spend does Greater Gargadon even have? 10? So right now it's at 9. They can sack their lands to make it at 5. So it's, it's pretty far away. I don't have to worry about it too much. Free Dwinin's Elite off the top. Oh, now I could have actually went for the Rite of Harmony. I'm dumb. I should have went for the Rite of Harmony. I can go for it next turn then. But for now, let's just get in there, put them to one. We have indefinite um, lethal here. They don't have a sweeper. All right, opponent, you got one chance. I committed everything. I committed my whole board. There's nothing else I could do if you sweep me here. Actually, the winding way is a good way to recuperate when they're at one. And they scoop it up. We fought back past that crazy well-placed crashing footfalls to surprise block two things and then we got back from the restore balance at like six for one to me and uh got put to one life and we still clawed our way back that was awesome can't believe it all right so do i want no mark of asylum doesn't work against against restore balance oh uh, man i wish i had void mirror I wish I had Void Mirror. I was so close to putting it in the sideboard, but I didn't. Do I want Path to Exile to hit a Rhino? Probably not. I'm, I'm actually going to bring in Scooze, because after a Sweeper, after the Restore Balance, I can like eat some things, gain some life, and then make it into a 5-5 five five so I can block their Rhinos. Let's take out a Corian Ranger and the Arbor Elf. Hey, 12, how you doing? All right, this is going to be a keep. Yes, 
I need to draw Realm Walker our winding way, but I guess it does a thing in the meanwhile. There we go, that's what I needed. Nettle Sentinel, go. What is about Void Mirror for Hate of Cascade or and other combo unfair decks? It's for Cascade Hate. All right, Shock. And then let's uh, go to combat. Swing for two. And then go Heritage Druid. Always yes, always yield. And uh, let me see, let me think. Aquarian Ranger, tap, 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 untap Nettle, play the Realm Walker, use the query. Yeah, 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 we go query on here. Realm Walker, untap. On Elf, use query on untap. Heritage Druid, bounce the forest. Tap, tap, tap. Query on Ranger. Elvish Mystic. And pass a turn. Yeah, so Void Mirror stops Cascade because they don't spend any mana on a free spell. So Void Mirror just counters it because they didn't spend colored mana on it. They spent no mana on it. As for Told for Sweeper, I got the Restore Balance. Yep, there it is. Back down to one land. I'm just going to scoop it up from there. Because I know that I'm just going to top deck a land too, so... That is the big thing we're fearing, is that stupid restore balance. It's going to be annoying. So is there anything you have to worry about with your gallbladder removed? Like, is there anything in your life that you have to change? Like, like you can't eat certain things or you can't, I don't know. Something along the lines of that, like any any restrictions in your life? Cause my my dad just had his bladder removed, not his gallbladder, his his bladder bladder. And it it's really it it's affecting him for the rest of his life. Um, but I don't know if the gallbladder is much different. Not really. The advice was just to eat healthily. That's a good change. Now you're like forced to eat healthy. So now you can live out the rest of your life healthily and go on walks and be positive and, and, and help your self-esteem and whatnot. All right. Um, Red Harmony, but I don't have the, the Heritage Druid. I'm still going to keep it though. Lana, where elves go? Serum Visions. So they're not cascading, they're just trying to find a free way to play those, those spells. In America, the advice after gallbladder removal is low fat diet. Over here, that's not true because fats are still needed for vitamin absorption, especially vitamins A, D, E, and K. So that means no more avocado and peanut butter. All right. Um, Elvish Mystic Land or Elves go. Next turn, we can go for the Red Harmony. I need a. I need another land though. It would really, really help if I get another land. I draw two more cards. If I can draw one more land. 
They're, if they pass here, I know they're holding up a counter spell, and that's annoying. Land, please. Thank you. I am guessing this Red of Harmony is about to get countered. If they counter it, I'll just slam Winding Way. Come on, don't have anything. Don't have fire, nice. Okay, resolve, but is the War Master getting countered? Oh, nope, it's here to stay. Draw a card. Oh, here it drew it. Let me draw two cards. Oh, this is sick. This is so good. Draw another card. Tap, tap, tap. Corian Ranger. Elvish Mystic. Can I get a Nettle Sentinel, please? Can I get a Nettle? All right, Elvish Mystic. Draw more cards. Oh, and Dwynan's Elite. That's so good. Play Dwynan's Elite. We draw two cards off of this because it's going to make a token. Because it doesn't say non-token creature. It just says creature. All right. We're in Ranger, untap here, bouncing a forest. Tap, tap, tap. Now what do? Um, do I go Zuri and try to just go for game? I think I do that. Present lethal. Past turn. All right. Please don't as foretold into stupid restore balance. Don't you dare. Don't do it. Don't do it. I worked hard for this, okay, opponent? I worked hard. Of course. Of course. Of course. Oh, man. Why me? All right, Winding Way, named Creature. Sweet, we got lots of goodies. There's our Nettle Sentinel. All right, Ditch of Verdant Kitty Combs. As foretold. Into Rhinos. Ancestral visions so that now when I overcommit, they're just going to have the the restore balance because they just ancestral recalled That's lame. I still got to commit though. I can't just like sit here and not commit. I, I gotta go for something All right, what if what hills fetch Land okay, what's the game plan here? Um, Elvish War Master and a Heritage Druid. Tap, tap, tap. Then I'll send some... Yeah, that's, that's the play. Tap, tap, tap. Nettle Sentinel. Quarion Ranger. Oh, that wasn't... Oh. Oh, I'm not going to make another token. I'm stupid. Yeah, that, that was my mistake. I, I, I... Oh, no, 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 we're still good. We're still good. Because I can untap a thing here. Realm Walker. Just got to land on top. All right, opponent, please don't be lame. Don't sweep me again. Come on. I worked really hard for this. I did so much awesome flashy stuff in this game. Now let it be rewarding. Let it be I let me be rewarded for my hard efforts. Don't just be like land 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 sweet. Cause that's that's lame. <laughs> I 
What's up, Doc Needle? Hey, we have a doctor in the chat to answer our questions. That is why they suggest low fat instead of no fat. If you remove the gallbladder, you have less bile and thus less ability to absorb lipids and lipophilic vitamins. I mean, it's not that hard to stay to stay low fat. Just um, go vegetarian. I mean, as a vegetarian myself, a lot of things that I eat have like no fat and then and then uh, when I buy milk, I get low fat milk. I used to get non-fat milk, but now I get I low am. fat. Hey, Crash, thank you so much for the nine months. Tier one, that's a sub baby right there. What are we gonna name our, our sub baby? Thank you so much. Wait, 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 wait. Tap, tap, tap. Go for a free query on Ranger. And then we go tap, tap, tap. And... Oh, we can actually flashback Rite of Harmony. Let's fetch that away, though, to try to get some free spells. Elvish War Master. All right, I think we're going to go for Rite of Harmony. Play that free War Master on top, draw a card. All right, tap here, here, and here. And go for Lanawar Elves. There is another Rite of Harmony. Go free Dwinan's Elite. Yeah, we are storming off now. This is sick. Another free War Master. And then we can play that free um, Nettle Sentinel from our hand. to start netting positive mana and try to win with the Zuri. Now with three Nettle Sentinels, we're definitely making a ton of mana. Always yes. On Elf. All right, so I'm going to start playing things from my hand because I need to produce even more mana. Because I'm getting low on library count. I can preserve my library count and just play things from my hand to net positive mana every time because I could try to win with three creatures. But if I can find more query on Rangers, I can attack with more creatures. All right, let's go with Scoos. Play another Scoos. No more one drops in hand. I get that free heritage. I'll play that free heritage root off the top. It's because it. Provides me net positive mana. All right, tap, tap, tap. We'll go for that free Dwinan's Elite. Just waiting to find this Azuri, because there's still one Azuri. There it is. There it is. Play this free Azuri.
All right. Um, I still have to find Query on Ranger. So let's keep on digging because there's still two. There's still two more Query and Rangers in the deck. They're like the last two cards or something. I don't know. How many attackers I got? So Query and Ranger can untap the Realm Walker here. Bouncing this forest. So I have three attackers. I can activate Azuri four times. I can activate Azuri four times, which is plus 12 plus 12, which is definitely enough. That's definitely enough, right? Yeah, it should be. Yeah, that's more than enough. Go to combat. Swing for like, what is that? 42, trample? Is that it? We win? We do what we needed to do. <laughs> Opponents double blocking Realm Walker and they are dead. They exploded. All right, that was nuts. The last, the bottom cards of my library were my other two Korean Rangers, weren't they? What? There's none? Did they get exiled from the anger? They did. Why is there only two? There's one there, there's one there. Where's my other Quirion Rangers? <laughs> I don't know, but they're gone. All right, well, we beat them. We beat Cascade Rhinos, despite them having Anger of the Gods, a million re restore balances, just the worst matchup, and we still smashed through it. That was really cool. That was like a bad matchup when we got there. Got a game here against Bvizzle95, and we are going to be on the draw here with some Rite of Harmony Elves. And uh, that's keepable, I guess. I mean, I got... Elvish Mystic into a War Master into Heritage Druid, tap for some mana, play a Realm Walker, and start storming off with Realm Walker. So that's cool. You have two Storm Avenues in this deck. You can either storm off with Realm Walker or Rite of Harmony, or both. I'm going up against Tron. That's fine, because we can win by turn four if they don't get, like, Ugin on curve. We absolutely do not care about worm coils because we'll absolutely trample over them. But this, uh, my Yavamaya, unfortunately, is helping them because now they have green mana. They don't have to have like stars to cast like Sylvan Scrying. They can just go Tron Land, Tron Land, Sylvan Scrying, Tron Land. Saga. All right, so is it like Eldrazi Tron? Which is definitely better to see than, than normal Tron, because normal Tron's got like O stones and stuff. Can I get my land drop, please? Fetch land? Nope. Alright, throw out the War Master. The 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 Vormeister. Time to start making constructs that I don't care about? Go for it. <laughs> Elves don't care about your construct tokens. So it is Eldrazi Tron. Come on, pass the turn. Pass the turn. Oh, I'm going to thought not seer. But it's okay because I have two. Oh, no, they're going to take my heritage druid. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, manner shaper. That's fine. Best case scenario. Don't dismember. Okay, map. Thank goodness. Dodged a bunch of bullets there. Land, please, land. I can storm. I can win the game storm off here if I draw a land. Okay, didn't get it. All right. Dude, we could literally have stormed all the Red Harmony there, just play Heritage Druid and start playing everything and just draw my entire deck. That would have been so cool.
All right, make a thing. Tap three. Play another War Master. Play Dwinan's Elite, make two things. Tap, tap, tap. And play Azuri. Do I go Azuri? Let me see. Yeah, yeah, because I can tap three things and tap Elvish Mystic in the land, activate Azuri, and then I'll have five attackers. Yeah, so let's go Azuri here and pass. And that'll be 20 damage, trample. Oh, hey Scratch, didn't see you there. And Rumble Stiltskin too. Good to see you guys. How you doing? The way Juice is holding that hand, it looks like a middle finger. They got a tower. All right, not too scared about what they did there. Um, all right, let's let's go to combat. Swing of the Zuri, Dwine's Elite, War Master, War Master, Heritage Druid. They're gonna be forced to block. The question is, do they have main deck all is dust? Oh, they're just dead? Huh? Oh, I can't do math. I'm stupid. For some reason, I thought four creatures getting plus three plus three would be 20 damage. But no, because some of them are already two power already. It was 25, it was 24 technically, but it was trample. So yeah, we got there. I didn't expect that. Okay, cool. I like when you when you get the win when you didn't even know you were gonna get it. <laughs> All right, going on to Cyborg, give me the oofs. Is it oofs? And then do I also want the Rex Sages? Do I want paths? I don't think I want paths. Rex Sage, um, probably they're gonna have like Chalice of the Void and it might be a little annoying. I'll bring in three. Uh, let's cut one Realm Walker, one Dwinan's Elite, one Winding Way, one Arbor Elf, and one Queer and Ranger. And go like that. Cut a little bit of everything. Uh, yeah, this looks good. If I can find a Heritage Druid, we just win. This, this is literally a turn three win if we can find a Heritage Druid. Crater Behemoth is a little better. I mean, technically, yeah, like you can storm off your entire deck and find the, uh, the, like multiple nettle sentinels to be able to make enough mana for that yeah it actually makes sense i'll probably have to address that in the video that actually does make a lot of sense i didn't think about it that way because i i'm not actually winning turn three i'm just presenting a gigantic board on turn three um but with crater hope i could just win on turn three so yeah you're right i actually didn't consider that i, I need to actually put that in i'm putting it in the next game all right, let's go. Elvish Mystic, go. You don't like Queer and Ranger in Modern? It helps get those lethal swings. When you can untap, untap a thing that you have Heritage Druid for mana, untap it later and then attack with it at the end of the turn when you pump with Azuri a million times. All right. Um, let's just grab a another basic forest here and throw out a couple mana dorks. Do I also throw out the Quarian Ranger or do I save it for Rite of Harmony next turn? I think let's save it for another Rite of Harmony draw next turn. Let's just attack for one here. They're not gonna be able to blast zone as yet. 
We're gonna go for game next turn because if we find Heritage Druid, we win, or we we just produce a giant board. Hers is mine. Chalice time. Thought, oh no, you loser. Why? Why? No, dude. I was ready to go off. That's lame. That was gonna be it. I know I was gonna find the heritage writ. Yeah, there goes the right. Stupid thought not seer. I'm salty about that. And the only things that ever make me salty in magic is thought seize effects. There it was. I told you we were getting it. I told you we were getting it. Okay, I'm not even, I'm not playing anything, dude. I'm not playing anything. I'm literally waiting to draw another Rite of Harmony now. Like, I, I'm just sitting back hoping the opponent does not crack Blast Zone. And I'm, I'm waiting for this win. I'm getting this bread, okay? It's gonna happen. Just you wait. Don't crack this blast zone. Please and thank you. Play it. Becky. Becky, want to smash? Becky, want to smash, please? Chalice on two. That also hurts. But Rex Age is three, so. Can I draw Rex Age? Nope. I could I, I could just throw out four one drops and just attack them. Just like attack them down. You know what? We're gonna do that. All right, Quarian Ranger. Untap this guy. Bounce the forest. Play the forest. Nettle Sentinel. Elvish Mystic. Always yes. All right. Now maybe we can prompt our opponent to stay back and stop swinging at us for a bit. Um... All we gotta do is find a Realm Walker. Now, like, I accepted that the Red Harmony's dead. I, I threw up my hand, now I'm just hoping for a Realm Walker because I need to establish my mana, then I can storm off with Realm Walker, and I need to find a Rex Sage. Azuri would also be amazing. Oh. It's scoop time now. Now they cracked the Blast Zone. I guess my hope was just that they wouldn't see Blast Zone there. <laughs> All right, let's do this again. Let's do this again. We got it this time. I don't have a good luck, good art reclamation stage. I needed to put it in. It's too late, though. All right, Land of War Elves. Elvish War Master again. I don't have the Heritage Druid, which is a problem. Do I mulligan? I'm gonna mulligan. Okay, that one's better, I think. Keep that, toss the... What if what hills? Actually, I only needed one Realm Walker. I didn't notice I had two of them. I should have tossed one. Why does, from afar, Realm Walker looks like they're wearing a Star Wars mask or something? Just looks like it. It's not very clear from afar. Tower into nothing. Okay, we gotta land on top. I 
They're going to dismember. So it's a good thing I kept the backup realm walker. Feels like it. There's a little bit of a stall. Nope. All right, cool. Get to keep our realm walker. Don't warping whale it. Or not warping whale, but spatial contortion. They do have a spatial contortion. Dang it. All right, let's put a stop at her upkeep. I should have yielded into my upkeep, actually. Let's fetch, because I don't want to draw that wooded foothills on the top. Let's get our white source. I drew a land anyways. All right. Um, Realm Walker. And I still have a land on top. All right, let's fetch away that land. Winding way. I'll take a winding way. All right, I'll take that. Opponent, don't cut my stuff for one turn, please. Thought not ser thought not ser me. Come on. Thought not ser me. You know this last card in my hands a collected company, and you want it. Come on, thought not ser me. Don't spatial contort again. Don't do it. No, they got dismember. Dang it. All right, winding way. Creatures. Oh, got three things. Nice. War master. Nettle sentinel make a thing. Corian Ranger on top the Elvish Mystic. We have another dismember on the War Master. All right. Play another Nettle Sentinel. Oh, I have a Rite of Harmony. I didn't notice I had a Rite of Harmony in the grave. I milled over it. Okay. So I could have held this and flashed that back, but again, I need, I need to draw Heritage Rid. They had Spanish Contortion double dismember, dude. That's crazy. All right, go to combat, swing for one. Their, their life total's getting a little low though, so we're in a good spot. Now I kind of would mind if they have a Thought Not Seer or Mattery Shaper, because I can start swinging for the fences now. Erberg. All right. Heritage, please. No heritage. Do I just flash back Red Harmony here? I'm going to do it. It's very bad. I'm just drawing one card. Okay, we can go to combat first, I guess. Swing first, and then we can do the thing. If I top deck a Heritage Druid, then we are in a very good spot. Again, always yes. Nettle Sentinel, always yes. Please. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. We got it. All right. Come on. Constant flow creatures. Give me a realm walker. Dang it. I ran out of creatures. No. Oh, I could have stormed off there. If I just keep hitting creatures. See, this is kind of a reason that I I wanted to put Elvish Visionaries in here. It wouldn't be a bad idea. It'd help the storm process, but then again, it wouldn't be a good alternate win condition if you just don't draw right of harmony at all and you're going for the winding way route. The beatdown route, Elvish Visionary wouldn't do you as much good.
The opponent scoops it up because they're at five and they don't have a sweeper. So that's going to do it. Sweet. Yeah, the Elvish War Master is going to pump our board there for plus two, plus two. That was going to be good. Nice. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the speed up session for today's video. As you know, we like to speed up the longest games in the video to make sure it's not way longer than it should be. And as I always say, if you want to catch the full games unsped up, unedited, and uncut from the video, you can go to the Switch link down below in the description and check out the entire VOD from last Saturday. Or you can come out on a future Saturday if you want to catch the gameplay live before it goes up on YouTube. And you can even play against me if you'd like. I welcome that as well. But in this specific instance, it was actually on last Thursday's VOD because the set had just come out and we needed to get some content going right away. So we did this on Thursday. So uh, this first game, we got two games sped up. And now this is a, one of those weird speed up sessions that doesn't happen very often where when I make a video, I usually like to be fair and have a balance of sped up and non sped up wins and losses, you know, have a balance to the video. But in this instance, it's one of those lame times where I have to speed up only losses and keep the wins unsped up. Because, I mean, that's not really fair, but here's here's what happened. So it was Mana, mana Screw. Uh, sorry to spoil right away, but it was Mana Screw. And when you just go one land, then do nothing, 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 and die, that's not content. It's not interesting. And I usually do not include those games in videos but we only had three unsped up games. So if we just had a three game video, the video would have felt a little bit incomplete. So I needed to add something. So I was like, well, I have these two games and they were mana screw, but they were games. So I just have to throw them into, you know, sort of complete the video, so to speak. So I apologize for that. It is what it is to show you mana screw, but I get stuck on a one lander here. And I do get the Red Harmony and the Nettle Sentinel and the Heritage Rude, which is what we want. But on the third, since all the way on the third turn, we did not even draw our second land. And the game would have been so drastically different if we were able to draw a card off that Nettle Sent or that Heritage Druid rather than having to play it first to be able to cast the Rite of Harmony. So that just completely killed the momentum of our storm off there, making it so the opponent had time to get up to their Supreme Verdict and sweep us. And there's just nothing I can do about that. So that was really, really a shame that by turn three, we didn't get our second land drop. And I was saying this earlier and I'll say it again, but um, I think that I would like, this is a 17 land deck, but I would probably go 18. 17 is a correct number for an elf deck. I'm not saying it's not, but me personally, I get mana screwed a lot. And I usually like to make my decks a little bit more mana heavy than the way most people would build their decks, just because I like to not get mana screwed because it happens to me all the time. So I would probably go 18 or like maybe even 19 if I was getting a little crazy, just so that it doesn't happen because it literally happened twice here. So going on to the next game, we're going up against a Rakdos uh, Luris deck, which, you know, Rakdos Luris decks are like 90% removal and interaction, which is already tough for elves. But on top of that, getting mana screwed is a difficult thing. And this game was also pretty ridiculous because we could have won a long time ago if we had found a Heritage Druid. But I literally dug half my library. I think at the end of the game, I had 30 cards left in my deck. I was just like, please, Heritage Druid, please. I just could not, for the life of me, find a Heritage Druid. I had the Red Harmony the whole time. It's just, it would have been over if I found a Heritage Druid. Like, because I had triple Nettle Sentinel 2 by that point. It's crazy. Uh, the game number two here, we win pretty swiftly, but then going on to game number three, we get stuck on a one lander. We get triple mana dorks in our one lander though. And I was like, yeah, the triple one landers, uh, or triple mana dorks cool if you got a one lander, but you know, they remember they're like 90% removal and interaction. So they just go inquisition of me and they go push bolt bolt. They kill all my mana dorks. And then by like turn five or six, I'm still stuck on one land. And that's what I was saying. If I went 18 or 19 lands, maybe I would have drawn a second land by turn five or six. But no, I was just stuck on one and I couldn't do anything, which is a shame because our hand had a lot of goodies. So even with the Heritage Root and Rite of Harmony, we're ready to storm off if we have the opportunity, but we didn't get the opportunity because of all the removal and the one lander. So with that, we're gonna go into the wrap up, consider another land. Hope you enjoyed.
All right, so let's talk about some Rite of Harmony Elves for Modern. I thought it was going to be a lot more broken, especially after like me testing with this deck. Like Rite of Harmony seemed just as broken as the Glimpse of Nature, but actually playing it, it wasn't actually the case because people have disruption and people have a lot of disruption. You know, if you're not me, then maybe you can do a lot better with this deck, but if if you're named Marin MTG, you might have pretty bad luck. Just saying. If if you're me, you might have pretty bad luck because you will end up running into people who have just so much removal and thoughtsies and bolts and pushes and and prismatic endings and just removal and just sweepers and supreme verdicts and so much interaction and it's gonna be annoying. Um but if people don't disrupt you for like two or three turns, then yeah, Rite of Harmony can absolutely let you win on the third turn if you have a Heritage Druid and a Nettle Sentinel, because that's all it'll take. It's pretty nutty. It like it's a really solid card, and I like how it works with Winding Way. How you know you use Winding Way for card advantage, and you can accidentally mill over Rite of Harmony and flash it back and go off from there. So it's pretty cool. But Heritage Druid is so important. Like, if you don't get it, then Rite of Harmony just kind of sucks. So I, I, I even brewed, when I was brewing with this, I even did a version, like, where instead of Winding Way, I had Finale of Devastation to literally go and tutor the Heritage Druid. But then again, if you do that, then, and you don't draw the Rite of Harmony, then the Finale Devastation seem kind of sucky. I mean, you can maybe wait until you have five mana and use it to find a Realm Walker, because that's your other way of storming off. So Finale of Devastation might not be the worst thing to try out. I'd recommend giving that a little bit of a trial over Winding Way to see if it makes the deck a lot more consistent. It definitely will make it more consistent, but I think it'll have a less good backup win condition. That's a problem with that. And I got land screwed a lot. 17 is probably the correct number, although um, I'd probably prefer to go 18. And the reason why the mana base is as sucky as it is, is just because of Arbor Elf. Like, I wanted to make sure every, like, I only have the singleton, the one Arbor Elf, but despite that fact, I still wanted to have every land be, you know, something that Arbor Elf could untap. But if you didn't run Arbor Elf, then you could just run like Razorverse Thicket, maybe a Horizon Canopy or two, maybe like a couple Cavern of Souls. Um, and just have an overall less painful mana base so that if things are trying to race you, you have a better chance because you're not fetch and shocking. Um, so that that is another option if you didn't want to run the Singleton Arbor Elf. But instead of the Singleton Arbor Elf, something that would be pretty interesting is the Singleton Crater Hope Behemoth, which is something that somebody brought to my attention that I didn't really consider. Um, however, we had no problem that when we actually stormed off, we really had no problem winning with the Zuri. Because like there were... Every single time we did storm off, the previous Azuri had already died, and we have to desperately dig for our last one. And at that point, when you start stacking double or triple Nettle Sentinels, you net so much mana from that that the other Azuri you play will just get there. So I don't think you really need the Crater Hoof, but it is another backup win condition if you happen to not go off with Red Harmony and just play the game naturally. You'll get to eight, and Crater Hoof can do good things. So it is, it, it all depends. I, I do like this build overall. I think it looks like a pretty solid build. I think that the, the Arbor Elf is just the one flex spot, and maybe I would just take that out and put in the 18th land, just put in the fourth forest. That's probably what I would do. And then I would just cut some fetches and put a Razor Verge Thicket instead and cut a couple more fetches and run a couple Horizon Canopies. That would be my recommendation to make changes to this deck. So that is going to do it for this one. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe if you're new. And a huge thanks to our Patreon supporters for making this channel possible. Their names are scrolling on screen. And if you would like to help monetize this channel as well, you can find the Patreon link down below. And we now do commander streams with our patrons every Tuesday. And if you need to pick up some magic cards, TCGplayer.com's got you covered. You can find them through our deck list link down below and anything you purchase through that link really helps out the channel. And if you want to play some magic online, you should sign up with Mana Traders using the code that's listed in the description to save 15% and you can rent and play all the magic decks you want. It is what I personally use to make my videos. And of course, all the links are down below in the description. Again, thank you so much for watching the video and I'll catch you in the next one.